For the first time, we are seeing real-world evidence of how well one HPV vaccine can prevent one of the most common cancers in women. Researchers are calling these results historic. More than 90 percent of cervical cancers are caused by HPV. The U.K. study shows an 87 percent decrease, that's right, decrease in the rate of cervical cancer in women who are vaccinated against HPV between the ages of 12 and 13. That's compared to an unvaccinated group. The research was published in The Lancet. The CBS News chief medical correspondent, that's Dr. John LaPook, joins us now at the table. John, it's so good to see you because I know you've been talking about this for a very, very long yeah. time. I'm curious about what your reaction was when you heard this news. It seems like a very big deal. It is. This was great news. You know, this was one of the very first stories I, I did back in 2006 when I first mm -hmm. came to CBS News was the FDA approval of this vaccine. At that point, it was a hypothesis. We knew that more than 90 percent of cervical cancers are caused by the HPV virus. And the question is, well, OK, it makes sense. If you prevent that infection, you should prevent cervical cancer. But we didn't know it was a hypothesis. Now we know Absolutely, it does. And I remember it was controversial at the time. There was a big discussion around whether or not it should be given and what age. Mm -hmm. uh, and now the recommendation is for, for girls as young as nine. Yeah. Why start so early? And that does seem very early. Yeah, it seems yeah. very young. Very, very good question. There are two very good reasons. One is this is not a treatment. It's a prevention. It only works if mm -hmm. you prevent it. So, of course, you want to give the vaccine before somebody can be sexually active. But the other one that's not so intuitively obvious is that when you give it at a younger age, it actually works better. It elicits a stronger immune response. So those mm. are the two reasons. Okay, but as a parent of a daughter who is 11 years old, I'm thinking to myself, well, this is an infection that she might not get. So why should I give my daughter this HPV vaccine? You may think she may not get it, but about more than 85% of Americans who are sexually active get it. It's a very it, it, common, easily transmitted uh, infection, right? It's out there. And it's it's not just, For sure. And it's not just girls, it's boys, too. So this is... Now boys we're, aren't in this conversation, though. Well, that's what I, Should I was they about, be? I was going to drag them in you myself. Were, oh, right. yeah. Absolutely. Should they be? So, I so had should both, boys get it? Yes. It's recommended for boys. Boys not only can give it to the girls, so just there's an ethical reason to try to reduce it and prevent that, that right. mo mo the mode of uh, transportation, of uh, infection. Right. But also, guys can actually get infected themselves and develop these cancers. Guys can get... Uh, cancer of the throat, of the tongue, of the genitals, of the anus, and those areas of the body can also happen. You can get cancers there in men and in women. Wow. So mm -hmm. finally, you know, we have all these vaccines, talk of vaccines that can prevent all these deadly childhood illnesses. We have a vaccine that can prevent cancer. You just mentioned the word sexually active. Does it apply if you're sexually active? Is that what you're talking about? Well, the way this is uh, spread is through sexual activity, and it's actually in the skin. So, you know, if you wear a condom, it can give you some protection, but it's actually skin-to-skin -skin contact. Mm. So it doesn't give you perfect protection. That's why it's so easy to spread it. And it can be spread by all sorts of sexual roots. And but that's why when you hear a nine-year-old girls getting it, you just don't think of nine-year-olds exactly. sexually active. They're not right. sexually make active, the, but you've got to give them the, the protection it's a preventative. before they got are it. sexually active because okay, you're got it. preventing it. Preventative so measures. Once they get the so infection, it. it's not a treatment. You have to give them the vaccine so that when they get exposed, they then don't develop the infection. I guess got that it. also explains the 13-year lag between when the shot was initially given and then these results. Uh, for, they're out of the UK. Are, are we, is there a similar study coming here in this country? You know, we've had little studies that have suggested this is the biggest one, and it's really great to see that finally we have the data to say this works, and it's not probably going to work just for cervical cancer, but for the other cancers that I mentioned that are also associated with HPV. It's still a voluntary thing at the moment. It's voluntary, right. yes. Gotcha. But you're endorsing it. Right. I totally yes. endorse it. <laughs> All right. Enthusiastically. All right. Thank All right. You. <laughs> Dr. John LaPook, thank you very much.